Okay, y'all, I know I ain't did a video all day today, but I'm gonna go this way. But I did go to the grocery store today to pick up some things. Well, some snacks. We gonna say. Y'all, it's like I've been grocery shopping. I know y'all probably think saying the same thing too. Like, dang, she stay at the grocery store. It's like, that's my home away from home. Grocery shopping. But yeah. It's like, and this is just all I'm going to say about that. It's like, me and me at the grocery store, it's like I go every week. But when you have to feed somebody that eats a lot, or eats often, frequently, whichever word you want to use, then you understand my situation. Or uh, if you have somebody that's, if you have some kids in your house, like boys or something, and you have to stay at the grocery store every week or every other week, you understand what I'm talking about. You'll understand how I feel about, damn, how about like, you feeling like, damn, I always have a damn grocery store. It's a black damn time, like, damn. They got no mail in three days. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Three days? Is you serious? Hey. Hmm. In three days, really? Like, what the fuck is taking me so long? Yeah, I ain't been shitting here in three days. Not a real truck up here. Should have been trying to up here from the beginning. Hell. Three days ago. So especially starting Wednesday. I'm gonna push it that far back. Wednesday, you should have been here. Delivering mail. I'm gonna go down here and sit outside for a little bit in the sun. Yeah, this shit feels good. When I go back in the house, I'm taking me a bath. And to be honest with you, I do feel good. Like I say, I can't wait for all of this shit to be over so I can get me another job, the one that I want, and give me another vehicle, and hopefully, definitely have enough money to get me another car. I mean, get me the apartment. I mean, not the apartment. either the apartment or the house, don't really matter. I'm gonna stand right here. Trying to soak up some sun. But yeah, if I can do that, and I can get my house, if I can get the house to $799 a month and afford to pay that in the bills, baby. I'm trying to tell you. Parking stuck on my ass. And there's a new car over here. Somebody recent. You probably recently moved over here with a park sticker. But yeah, once I get all that together, y'all, I'm trying to say, y'all, I'm going to be good. Like, really good. Like, I'm going to be, I'll be able to park wherever I want, however I want, be gone as long as I want. I ain't got to worry about coming back home or moving my car to go park somewhere else. For to get told if I don't. The rules and stipulations in this prison is hell. And I should do an actual video or a post like that on how Oak Villa Apartments is like a prison. And then just go over each one of the details. Go over each one of them in detail. I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, I'm going to have flying like hell. Take a pill. Oh, yeah. Real quick, so I know, yeah, I went to, while I was at the grocery store, I seen some um, hair, skin, and nail gummies. So, I'm like, I've been wanting to try that for years to see if it worked. So, I read on the bottle. I got it. I read on the bottle. It says, take two gummies a day. So, I took my first two today. So, I'm trying to see. How this gonna work by the end of the week? Where I'm gonna be? 
as well as half skin and nails. Because, like I say, my skin is dry right now. It's dry on my hands. Because I've been washing it and skin all cracking and peeling. It's just, it's just dry. Like, I don't know, it's just dry. Peeling. And then my hair can use some help too, to be honest with you. If that make my hair long, like, shit, that's all it took for my hair to do that? Shit, I should have been doing that. I had some uh, apple cider because I was looking for some fat burning powder. But I didn't find it. So, not where I went. I seen the apple cider vinegar pills. Took me forever to find it. Took me a whole damn trip around the store and back. And then I found it. But I ended up not getting it because... I don't think it had a price on it. Or it would have been too much, one of them. But, back to, that's enough about that. Back to what I was saying. Y'all, I cannot wait. Like, I need to get my shit together. I need this shit to be over. So, I already know what specific job I want. I already know. Where I want to go, just about. Like I know what kind of job I want because of how much they pay. And like I've been saying, how the hell is somebody gonna tell me just because they was a maid or whatever they did whatever? Because back then it was called a maid in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Hell, pay rates then increased. Hell, minimum wage then increased. But you telling me based on what you done went through back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, uh, you don't want that kind of job? You want to stay doing home health care? The fuck? In home health care, that don't even pay half enough to keep your head above water. Especially when you're taking care of more than one person. How the fuck they expect somebody expect you to live off that shit? Like, I absolutely cannot live off of that. I'm sorry. I'm barely making it as it is now. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. Well, yeah, I need to just do me, find me something where I can get more income. It pays more per week, more even monthly. Hell, this job here that I'm thinking about taking is more they pay more monthly i mean more weekly they pay weekly like every week just i don't know exactly what day but 350 dollars a week if you don't spend nothing because i'm gonna try to like live off like okay if i keep both jobs or until i make up my mind which job i may have matters that matters more basically than being honest because it pays more Cause I'm trying to get me another vehicle. Damn kids! I'm trying to get me another vehicle. I'm trying to get me. Why the car sound like that? The way that the other lady that was driving the same vehicle, same color, the pan, her didn't sound like that. Hell, I might just get one of them. I want a Chevy something, but. It's a lot of things that I gotta pay for that I that more income would be better. So yeah, and then I'll be able to afford the house and don't have to live in an apartment for seven hundred and something, for something like this for seven hundred dollars, just that top apartment for seven hundred dollars a month. That is not worth it. I'm sorry, it's just not. Whereas you can get a three bedroom two or three bedroom house for the same price as this regular ass one of these damn regular ass apartments and don't have to really like worry about you got more space yeah y'all like I say yeah yo um light bill is gonna be higher cause look how many bedrooms you got three at the least what well, we gonna say yeah cause they started three four and five so three bedrooms at the least 
and then to top that off not only do you got three bedrooms you got lights and all that then you got the bathrooms which is two it's under two bathrooms and then yeah of course like i say and then i got other bills that need to be paid myself so like i say i'm gonna have to either save my money and yeah i'm gonna sit on these stairs right here until somebody come down or up but i'm gonna have to say either save my money and buy the car i write or pay car notes i'm gonna keep my car until okay I'm going to have to, yeah, like I say, I'm going to have to, I am going to keep my car until. Can I see what these people are saying? But yeah, I'm just, I don't know. That way, and like, I always want to be back to y'all real quick this is what it looks like when you wear a shirt from that somebody gives you and you don't know what it says you're just wearing it anyway because it's a shirt but yeah like i say i'm gonna have to i'm gonna just keep my car until either i get it all paid off the second one all paid off or because I like to be prepared. So if anything happens, I'm prepared. I'm good to go. I'm good. That's how I want to be. I want to be like, okay, well, I'm good. I know I got my ass covered. Either way, let me go see. Oh, because I'm going to go inside and take me a bath. And put my damn pajamas on. Sleeping pajamas. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to make sure everything's good. Stressing. No nothing. I'm still waiting on something to come out of the mail. I ordered some online. Where the hell is it? But, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I'm just like, set my ass right back on these sales. Damn, I just got up and the uh, sun went down already. Off the stuff I was sitting on. So I wasn't sitting this damn far. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Even if it is a rent house. Most of everybody getting rent houses anyway. Yeah. And then, y'all, I'm like, excuse my way. Excuse my way of talking and whatnot. But I'm a visual type person. So, me doing anything, any kind of math, I'm going to have to do it visually. So, right now I'm just guessing. Three, half of 700, and half almost 800. We're basically just going to say 800 because that house is a dollar away from 800. So, if two people move in, it will be 400 each. Split down the middle, even four hundred. I mean, like I said, it's a damn dollar away from eight hundred dollars because it's seven ninety nine. Like I say, and then too, I don't mind living in Katy because that's where it's at in Katy. Why not? Hell, at least you'll be more free to do whatever you want yeah you might have to find somebody to come cut your grass shit why would i care? why why would that be a problem i'll just go buy me a damn lawnmower and if you don't end up staying in that house and somehow you end up having to get go back and live in an apartment which i wouldn't want to do but you never know how life turns out or how life is gonna turn out so if that does happen which i'm not speaking into existence but if it ever did happen because don't nobody know but god you can always sell your lawnmower for money there's things like that you can always sell 
But, like I say, either way it goes, I need to either have a house or apartment. Something of my own. Something where I don't have to, like, live secluded. Have, well, I don't have to have my damn, my stuff all shoved up in one area. Or where I don't have to share everything. I don't have to split everything in half that I get. The only thing that's going to be split in half is going to be my food. And I don't want to live like that. If I, if I do have a house, I want to be able to put my stuff in there. Like I say, if I do want to have somebody come live with me, let me live on my own first. Let me be able to experience that shit first. To see how good it is. To see how good it feels. To just have my own first. Then if I do need somebody to come help me out or whatever, then I'll do that. But until then, I'm just going to be careful. You a dog poop. But, you know, like I was saying... So I use, I'm gonna slip step all day in that. Ugh. But, like I was saying, I forgot what the hell I was saying. But, anyways, that'd be like stuff I can like sell if I need to. Or, if I don't need to, then I won't. Other than that, everything should be just good. It should be like, okay, yeah. Like I say, just let me breathe first. Even if I do have a rent house, let me do it. Because, like, I'm trying to get my shit together. Some things that I'm trying to move around and do. There's some things that I'm trying to experience in my life. I can't continue putting myself second or last to anybody else. I mean, I just can't. Even if I don't have a washer and dryer and have to go to a washer. Hell, at least I'll be able to put my shit in the car and find a clothes to wash there and go. If that's what I want to do, I can do that. There's a fucking spider up here. Yeah, I'm so sick and tired of these apartments and everything that pops up in them. It's just nasty. But, I don't know. I'm like, oh, just ready. Right? Y'all ain't got shit. And once I go in the house, I ain't coming back out. Three days. We ain't got shit. Today finna make four. So people, y'all give me a motherfucking refund. Shit, cause this is just ridiculous. That's why I never, that's why I didn't download that app the second time around when I got this phone. Cause, baby, these people lost their goddamn mind. Look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna just be happy and peaceful. The fuck is the mail carrier just standing up there shit in there? Ma'am, come on. This video can be 20 minutes long or however long. Shit. I don't know if I'm taking this milk here so that damn long. But I'm finna end this right here. I'm gonna see y'all later.